First of all, Abraham Lincoln is a white man. Rico case, um, jail time. You hairstylist. I have to get back to y'all. Y'all gotta get off TikTok. Y'all gotta get on Google. Um, they I hope they wasn't too controversial for y'all. What's up, y'all? It's your girl C Alexis. If you are new to the channel, welcome. And if you are not new, welcome back. In today's video, we are doing a messy chit chat slash an unpopular opinion video for the girls. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna start off with the unpopular opinions and if we can get into the little messy chit chat, everything that's been going on like TikTok, Twitter, and things like that. So let's get right into the video. So my first unpopular opinion is that I am okay with my significant other not asking me to be his Valentine. The reason I'm okay with that is because me and my boyfriend been together for six, going on seven years. So I know that I'm gonna be his Valentine. So it's like, you know what I mean? Like I get it's a nice gesture, but there's nothing confusing about that situation for me so it's like i know that that's set in stone that's my man valentine's day is for me so the next unpopular opinion i like the traditional valentine's day gifts over like expensive gifts like i don't know like i like the little flowers the box of chocolates the teddy bear and it's probably just the inner child in me i really don't know i really do like the little typical valentine's day gifts i think they're so cute like they're so like small and thoughtful like not price wise small but just like it's just so cute it just remind me of like puppy love i don't know my next unpopular opinion i need to slow it down a little because i'm going a little too fast and make sure y'all put what y'all think in the comments y'all come on let's let's get this started I, I respond back for the most part i just be forgetting that i gotta go look at the comments after i post the video sometime black history month i had something i wanted to say about that I like black history month should not be on the shortest month out of the whole year why we only get 28 days for black history month confusion i don't understand that um it just felt like y'all like here you know what i mean i don't like that but then i did my research and it said like oh the reason why black history month is celebrated in february is because i think of frederick Douglass and abraham lincoln's birthday and they had a lot to do with like slavery and like black independence and stuff like that first of all abraham lincoln is a white man i don't care what he did he's a white man at the end of the day this ain't got nothing to do with him this got something to do with the negroes okay so abraham lincoln birthday should not have to have nothing to do with black history month so take that out and um let's start a petition for black history month to be in june me personally i think june is the perfect month because we already got juneteenth going for black history month and i don't know june just give like black people vibes you know what i'm saying y'all get what i'm saying respectfully let's change it from february to june enough time where kids can still learn about black history month because they do get out in june so that's kind of like a eh but they have enough time to learn about it in june and then the rest of june is black history month or it don't even have to be june i just feel like oh we get lucky on the leap year though we get lucky to have our extra one 29th day for the leap year that's every four years so um that might be a little controversial i don't know Personally, I think that need to be rearranged, babes. Um, it's a little disrespectful if you ask me. So this is kind of like unpopular opinion slash like this messy stuff. Well, why are y'all doxing people? I feel like doxing people is one of the most like dumbest, weirdest things that you could ever do. Because somebody don't like your favorite rapper or your idol or whatever y'all want to call them. Y'all post a work information. Y'all calling up to their job. Hello, yeah, um. Da, 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 da. getting them fired or trying to get them fired y'all are also contacting their family members threatening them and all type of stuff and i don't know if y'all seen this one dude on tiktok he found all of the people that doxed him he was a black man and they were people and they used their company's credit card to look up all his information so it sounded like rico case jail time that's what it sounded like and that's what he was saying he said he pressing charges on all of them he suing all of them so um black hair stream month we love it next thing i wanted to get into is the rap girlies are fighting like let's talk about it let's talk about it it's a multiple rap girlies that's getting into it well first we can start off with the biggest one that's been going on which was megan versus nikki i'm not gonna say too much because y'all not about to dox me but um i think it was crazy that all of this transpired I think we all kind of feel like what Megan said was directed to Nikki, but Megan never name dropped. And she could have been talking about so many people, but the fact that Nikki responded makes Nikki seem guilty. I personally, when I when I heard that and I seen it on Twitter and I think about Nikki's family and stuff, I'm thinking that sounded about right that it was towards Nikki. But then a lot of people said, oh, it could have been towards Blueface. And I'm like, Blueface? 
And then, you know, they just kind of start elaborating and talk about it more and more. And I'm like, dang, she could have been talking about anybody. So it's like the fact that Nikki went on that rant and went and talked about this girl, dead mama, and all of this other stuff for hours and hours and hours and hours, it just made it look crazy. And Megan didn't do nothing but just laugh and watch. And I feel like that's so embarrassing for you to get on social media, completely like go off and people already think you doing the booger sugar. And then you going on these rants and they like, this bitch might really be on coke. <laughs> so I don't really think nobody deserve anything, but I think if I was Megan, I would have done the exact same thing because I could be talking about you, him, him, her, him, 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 bodies, bodies, bodies. Him, him, her, him, him, bodies, 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 bodies be talking about all y'all and you responded which makes you look guilty and you probably was one of the people i was referring to and i'm just watching i'm sitting back laughing that's probably what megan doing rubbing on her dogs laughing oh also let's talk about the individual diss track i didn't really care for bigfoot but i will say it was some bars in there that like nikki did eat of course still love nikki but i just don't think bigfoot was it can be up there with Roman's Revenge or Stupid House. Y'all comparing it to this don't make sense. Just stop. And then his, personally, I liked it. I liked his. I feel like as a diss, because a lot of people say, oh, it's not Megan, it's not Megan. But it is, though. And I like it personally because, like, she went on there, she bodied it, and she dissed a whole bunch of people all at one time without saying no names, but could have been talking about a whole bunch of people and probably was talking about every single last one of them. When that situation was happening with her at Tori, y'all was talking crap about her. Now y'all are mad that she came back and devour every single last one of y'all and i'm not a stand for nikki or megan i enjoy both of these women music i just personally feel like strategically i think i'm more on the side with megan then let's talk about ice spice and lotto i don't know if i personally feel like if you shooting a video for your new song and you got a girl that you don't mess with in the back of the video on a certain part you're definitely talking about that girl and i think she knew what she was doing when she posted it so she knew that it, something could have possibly been said about it so she didn't care but then ice spice come back with um uh, thank you to fart i guess and it sucked respectfully ice spice cannot out rap lotto on her bad days I think she should stop while she ahead. She's a gorgeous girl. She just cannot rap. And oh, that's another popular opinion if y'all want to throw that in her. Ice Spice cannot rap. She's a pretty girl, but also I think a lot of that got to do with pretty privilege. Her, nah, don't get me wrong. Her music is catchy because I be listening to it, you know, by my little head. Woo -woo. She's not a rapper. She's not a freestyling bar for bar. She's not that, but that's okay. She, she makes trendy music. But me personally, if I pull up in my hood and film a video, <laughs> There's nothing, you can't come back from that unless you go back to her hood and film a video there. But on top of that, none of y'all are really street bitches. Can we talk about that too? Like y'all be on social media like, oh, bang this, bang that. Or like I rep, okay, you rep where you from cool but y'all hoes act like y'all be in the streets for real like me personally i'm from detroit i was born and raised in detroit but i love the city i love it there i can't lie but i'm not it's a difference between i feel like you your person like the type of person you are you don't take shit but at the end of the day sometimes i will be like, okay like the detroit about to come on me a little bit it's a little bit but that don't mean i'll be like oh no that's not me at the end of the day if that side come out of me it ain't oh i'm from detroit it's oh you got me for that it's about me it's about you playing on my top you don't gotta be a street bitch to get in the field but yeah her pulling up to her hood though was kind of crazy so she cut i ain't saying she ain't cut but yeah so then i'm kind of confused about the cover art for the song that lotto been putting out there a lot of people feel like it's a homage to the rap girlies and then a lot of people feel like it's a diss but i don't think she's about to diss all of them on there especially people she made musical before who she don't have no problems with probably it's gonna be about girls rap i don't know if that makes sense because she put somebody up there she don't fuck with it she also put people that she probably don't have no problem with so grown men dating underage girls okay so i could talk about this because i've been having this on my chest for a minute if you talk to a underage girl you are weird what don't niggas get about that that is weird so i'm gonna talk about two situations one was the big the one that blew up a few weeks ago which was with allegedly allegedly all of this is alleged by the way huh i'm about to come sue me boston richie was dating an underage girl on twitter she's like an instagram model or whatever beautiful girl but you're a victim she had posted her little birthday photo shoot and it was like on the cake it said legal legal is 18 if she was turning 
21, she would have put 21. That girl was 17 and she had just turned 18. She was dating him way prior to her turning 18. Boston Richie's 26 or 25. That's a grown man with kids, baby mamas, and posting her body on social media. Yeah. That's not weird. I don't know what it is. And people in the comments are like, well, she bad. She bad. She bad though. She bad though. Y'all just mad because she's bad bitch. Da, 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 da. We're mad because she's a minor? Why is that so hard for people to comprehend? Also, somebody had exposed her school license for, or school ID. She was indeed an underage girl. One day she'll learn, hopefully, that that was not okay. Because right now, when you at that age where everybody telling you, oh no, this is not right. You want to prove them, you want to prove a point. At the end of the day, it's going in one ear and out the other. You cannot help people like that. Then based on what her mama posted, that, that, that tells it all. The mama don't care. The mama said, don't ask me about nothing, da, 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 da. Clearly the mama know. My mama, my mama not about to get on the internet and say what she said, talking about some, I'm a Capricorn, F. I'm a Capricorn too. What's that guy A few weeks later, she posted single and things like that. And also, allegedly, I don't know if this is true or not, but I seen something where people said that Boston Richie had got arrested. So they said, um, he's 21 and he went raw with a 14 year old girl. 911, police, law and order, SVU. That's kind of insane, y'all. Niggas are lame. Y'all can't talk to people y'all own age. Everybody does not need to own a business. Let's talk about it. I'm all for people chasing their dream, doing what they want to do, and but not every single last one of y'all need a business. So let's talk about it. Because that just made me think about the whole Keith Lee and Sweet Lee season thing. So I don't know if y'all seen that, but basically Keith Lee had went out to this place in Dallas, Texas called Sweet Lee season. He charged his car $4,000. $2,000 was supposed to go to the business owner. $1,000 was supposed to go to this barber that was cutting the hair there. And the other $1,000 was supposed to go to this braider that was braiding hair out there. This lady kept all the money. She didn't send them their money. Currently, she did try to send them the money. But at this point, it's past the money. Like, it took her days to try to reach out to them and give them that money and it was like no nah, fuck that like cool you keep the money but you gonna need it that's what i said I said, baby gonna need that money you kept that four thousand dollars oh and on top of that keith lee also paid for this is all alleged to y'all but actually no it was it's proof somebody screen recorded so he also had gave her i think like 860 something dollars to pass out the rest of the food for that price free for those people because he paid for it after the third person she started charging everybody again this man just paid you to feed these people for free and you charging them if that's not agreed then i don't know what it is and <clears throat> karma works in mysterious ways okay karma the universe everything it works in mysterious ways. So, so that following, so first of all, she got blasted all over social media. The girl whose brother was the barber was advocating her, for her brother. I don't know why y'all play with black women every single time. Like they're not gonna bat for their siblings. They're not gonna bat for their family. They're not gonna come hard when it comes to protecting their people. And she like, yeah, um, this is what she did. Woo, she put everything on the table. That junk is just crazy to me. How you block, you can block your own blessings by being a greedy person. So. After that, she kept all the money. She said, well, Keith Lee told me to dispose, uh, distribute it how I think fit. What he meant was like through Apple Pay, Cash App, Zelle, and things like that. He did not say that she can keep more than what he gave her, which was the 2000 plus the 800 something for the food. That following day, if I'm not mistaken, or it might have been a few days after that, nobody came to her food truck. She, Baby, you could have made more than that $4,000 based off the fact that you had amazing food and you had got exposure from a pretty big food critic right now the way i look at it karma 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 treat people the way you want to be treated would you have want somebody to do that to you no so don't do it to somebody else what i mean by everybody doesn't need to have a business is the fact that hairstylists these nail techs is mostly hairstylists though you women are insane thinking that y'all y'all could charge an arm and a leg and people about to still support y'all y'all talking about people that work nine to fives when the people that work the nine to fives are the ones that are keeping y'all in business on top of that y'all don't know what a business is. I studied business in school. Business is more than just, oh, I'm opening up a shop and I'm trying to make a profit. It is way deeper than all of that. So the fact that people just open businesses and they don't have the knowledge on that is insane. It's okay to learn from trial and error, but y'all be treating y'all customers like shit. You hairstylists, I have to get back to y'all. Y'all don't be licensed, but don't want to wash hair, blow dry hair, do all of the things that need to be done when you come and typically get your hair done by, you know, hairstylists and stuff like that. That don't make sense to me that y'all charging an arm and a leg for to, 
to glue to braid down the cap on it i'm not taking away from y'all work because you know bleaching the knots and all that that that's a little work i'll admit that y'all be losing y'all mind and on top of that y'all are trying to live off of i get it y'all want to live off of what y'all love to do but half y'all don't even love doing what y'all love to do y'all don't care about how y'all customer service is y'all are terrible i just personally i don't and then when it comes to customer service so my next unpopular opinion is don't give people gifts that you want. Okay, so I seen this on Twitter like a few weeks ago. A girl had took her out on a date and the girl had bought her like a star and a whole bunch of other stuff that she didn't want. And I, a lot of people might be thinking like, oh, that's, that's really un ungrateful. But the girl elaborated on the girl did for me what she wanted from someone else or wanted somebody to do for her. And I personally agree with the fact that if you're going to do something for somebody, do it for them and not yourself if i know my mom favorite color or something or if i know you know i'm gonna shop for her if i know these people i'm gonna do what they want or what they ask me for not what i want somebody to do for me but i'm gonna try to wrap this up i got a few more that i want to get off my chest because i had these typed off since november of 2023 that birthday outfit situation i think this is the reason i'm gonna still mention this topic is because it's not really i am talking fast as fuck <laughs> Um, the reason I'm gonna still mention this topic is because it's not like a just a one and done topic. This has happened plenty of times when it comes to friend groups and things like that. And girls, for the most part, is, I've heard this topic pretty often. The birthday outfit situation. Me personally, I feel like nobody should be able to outdo you on your birthday. You are the birthday girl. You should look the most extravagant. You should like the baddest be in a room. But I will say, I do think there are people who intentionally do try to show out their friends. There are people that do this type of stuff. I don't know why people be like, oh, y'all are just delusional. And people don't do this. Yes, they do. They will never fully straight up admit, I want to be you. I want to be just like you. Because half the time, some of them girls probably don't even know that they want to be just like this person. They just do it because they... I don't know how to explain it. It's like conditioned to do stuff like that. Or they just see the type of person they want to be and they latch on to the, their friends and things like that. I think that's a real thing. And I really do feel like girls do do certain things out of spite to their friends. I feel like you should want to go above and beyond for your birthday. But that's just me. Typically, like, I like to go above and beyond for my birthday for the most part. Sometimes I'll be chilling other times. If I'm going out, I want to be the baddest heifer on the floor. The next unpopular opinion, I am tired of Krishan rock i'm so 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 sick and tired of seeing about this girl in the beginning i feel like everybody felt bad for Krishan. if like she was in a toxic situation she was manipulated due to i don't feel bad for that girl a lot of people felt like Blueface was the more toxic one but in all reality they're both toxic but Krishan is just as toxic as Blueface is because I don't know if y'all seen like a long time ago. It was things where Blueface was not even talking to this girl. And she was blowing his phone up, like calling him and hanging up so he can call back. Like all type of stuff like that. She was doing stuff like that. And then recently she got his face tattooed. A lot of people pointed out that they think it was like a henna tattoo or something fake because her face wasn't swollen and it wasn't really red and things like that. That could very much be the case. And if that's the case, that's some clout chasing ass shit. But typically, I mean, this is her job. Social media is her job. So I guess she gonna do whatever it takes to get the bag. Blueface locked up. She like, well, we gonna keep it going. We gonna keep the shenanigans going i still need the money y'all might eat me up for this i don't really care this is an unpopular opinion i'm gonna say what i gotta say i don't think she should have had that baby because i think she had her child for all of the wrong reasons i don't think she had her child for her or even for the child's sake i think she had the child to trap blue face and to keep him around because women do that that's a real thing i think that's why she kept the baby and i i feel so sad for that child because I don't like, I can't tell if Krishan is, if this is all play or if this girl is really like in the head. And I really think she's in the head because I feel like it might have started off as an act, but I think it's just real now because it's too many controversial things that she does that I just feel like it's, it's no way you're faking this. I, I think it's really sad. Like, I really hope that girl get help if something is really wrong with her. I really hope if this is for Claw, I just wish they would stop. I just wish they would stop because... It's just tiring. It's exhausting seeing this type of stuff on social media all the time, 24-7. That's why, I actually, I don't follow none of them. The only reason I see this type of stuff is Facebook and Twitter sometimes. I don't even be on Twitter that much. I'm just not getting into Twitter. And that brings me to my final topic. I think that social media is toxic. I think social media can be a good thing. And I think social media can also be a bad thing. It can help businesses, as y'all can see, like with Keith Lee, 
helping small businesses get noticed, um, helping people become influencers and things like that. I think social media can be a really good thing when it's used the right way, but I also think social media can be very negative. That's why, like, I'm, I don't know if everybody's like this. I don't watch the news. I feel like the news is pretty negative, and I think it's very, um, they show you what they want you to see. A lot of people become very insecure being on social media. Every day, all you're doing is consuming other people, and that's why I had to limit how much I was on social media because I think everybody can catch themselves sometimes being like looking at their life and being like dang my life is not like this person's on social media and if you don't kudos to you good for you because some of y'all be overdoing it y'all go oh. okay good for you but there are some people who realistically have looked at other people like dang like she looks better than me dang she got more money than me dang her boyfriend do more than my boyfriend do we have to stop comparing our lives to other people they say comparison is what did they say the kill man i gotta look this up because I don't want y'all to think I'm done. Comparison is the thief of joy. I think that's what it is. And I can 100% agree with that because if you're so busy comparing your life, if you so busy comparing your life to somebody else's life, you are not even living your life for real. You too busy worried about what he, she, him, them, they got going on. I just feel like we need to appreciate we have. You will never grow. You will never get more if you do not express gratitude. If you do not, if you're not grateful for what you do have, you will not receive more. Yeah, so I think social media is just like everything Jada, Jada way to do. Oh, Jada way to cut her hair? I'm gonna cut. No, y'all know what this remind me of? If y'all have seen Mean Girls, y'all remember when they kept on talking about like Regina George and everything that Regina did that everybody else would follow behind. It's like that. Like Jada way to cut her hair short. I'm gonna cut my hair short. And then y'all be looking like boo boo the fool. Jada way can get her hair done every damn day. You can't, miss ma'am. Unless you know how to do your hair. I just think we need to stop trying to do what everybody else is doing. We need to be ourselves. That's why when people be getting mad at people for gatekeeping, um... I'm sorry, unpopular opinion. It's okay to gatekeep. I'm so sorry about it. It's okay to gatekeep. I don't give a fuck. Wow, I got. I'm going to look for my favorite product, and I put this shit on TikTok. It blew up, and now it's gone. I never can get it again for the next few months. Stop saying gatekeep and make it gives mean girl. No, it don't because I think it give individuality. I'm sorry. Like you can be an individual and still wear the same thing as somebody else. Because at the end of the day. That's why I'm half and half with gatekeeping because I feel like this is not a cocky situation. Nobody's going to wear this dress how I'm going to wear it. Nobody's going to wear this perfume how I'm going to wear it. I feel like we all should feel that way. And that's why I'm kind of like on the fence about the gatekeeping thing and not gatekeeping thing because nobody should be able to do it like you. Everybody should feel this way about themselves. If you don't feel that way about yourself, you got some self-love and self-reflection to do. Or maybe you don't want to feel that way about yourself. Doesn't matter. I get a certain thing. And if it wasn't my intention to put y'all on, first of all, it won't be going on TikTok. That's number one. Um, And so for the people who do gatekeep, don't put it on TikTok if y'all don't want people to ask y'all where it's from. But then again, y'all gonna be looking. I mean, I see somebody post something and the girl is in the comments like, where did you get this plain white beater from? Did you look? Like, I get, I could get if it was something that was like, you've been looking at for so long and it's super hard to find this thing. And I can understand that. And you're like, damn, like, you really curious. Like, damn, like, where did this girl get this from? It's okay to do your research. It's okay to look things up. Okay, this is my last point, y'all. I'm so sorry. I'm just, I'm just going, going, going. But I seen this girl, she's renting out a suite at the um Atlanta Hawks Stadium. Y'all, I'm not from Atlanta, so don't eat me up because I called it the Atlanta Hawks Stadium. I know that's not the real name. I'm gonna call it that though. That stadium that they play basketball and stuff in. And I seen girls in the comments, okay, someone's congratulating her, cool. And then I seen something like, you gotta give us the details. Put us on. Girl, we need you to post that. To me, this sound like you posted that this was a, a possibility, that this was a thing. I need you to post step by step by step by step what you did, how much you pay, how much you gonna make from it. Money and things like that, depending on what it is, is personal information. That's like asking somebody how much they make. Not literally the concept of of that business and that investment but i mean like she would have to tell you how much she put into it how much she's gonna make from it that type of stuff can somewhat be personal especially just to put out on the internet it'd been different if y'all was like she was coaching y'all and things like that and some stuff can go she this her putting this idea out there her sharing her journey 
that is putting y'all on. Y'all have to do y'all own research. Nowadays, I think people be too lazy to genuinely go look these things up and find these things themselves. And that's where I come from when I mean like, it's okay to like put people on. It's okay to put people on. But I think the people who want to get put on, they expect people to do all the work for them. And that's where I think I have a problem with. Because that girl probably did a lot of research. She probably did have help from people. But she mostly probably did that research. She put all that stuff together. She put the money on the flow. And then y'all be like, I need you to to write me out a list on how you did this. No, y'all need to find stuff for yourself because how do y'all even know that y'all, I think this is where I'm getting at with this. Y'all expect too much out of strangers. You expecting all of this out of this girl that you don't know when you need to go do your own research because God, I don't think she's this type of person. This is not me shading her or nothing. But say she was a scammer. Y'all gotta start thinking for yourself. Y'all gotta get off TikTok. Y'all gotta get on Google. I just gotta become your own people. Y'all rely too much on social media. This is what I'm talking about. Social media hoes. But I think I did enough talking, y'all. Um, I hope y'all like this video. If y'all did like this video, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I would definitely probably like to do more unpopular opinions um they i hope they wasn't too controversial for y'all and i hope y'all don't like actually i made this video so i really don't care how y'all feel about my opinions because i purposely made i sat here and i talked and i in the editing process if i cut it out then maybe i didn't want that going out there but if i didn't and i posted this on my youtube that means i don't give a fuck so if y'all feel comfortable enough i would really appreciate it if y'all comment how y'all feel about the video i would appreciate if y'all even you know even if y'all opinion is not the same as mine i have no hard feelings to people about that as long as you keep it respectful let me know if y'all want any more videos like this i'm pretty sure i'm gonna do another one of these but let's just see how this one do um we'll see y'all in the next video oh don't forget to go watch my last vlog see y'all